Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. Today, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. Honestly, this has been like one of those epiphany days really for me as a football fan, as a Chelsea fan. And I was looking in the last couple of days, I'm looking at the channel, I'm looking at GBFC and I'm like, I'm actually really happy with the content that we've put out this season. We had an amazing pre-season tour of America, made loads of videos, it was 110%, high octane, you guys loved it. We had the end of the transfer window, it was chaos, it was busy, didn't end the way we wanted it to, but Chelsea have started the season, we got two wins, one draw, one defeat, we made it into the Conference League. It's looking quite good. Depends what lens you look through. You've got the crazy stuff going on at club level at the very, very top. I looked at the news and I'm like, is there anything like worth speaking about? And when I talk about being happy with the content I'm posting, it's happy when we win. Six things we learn. It wasn't uploaded straight away, but it was great. It was a win. It was a good win. It was a bad performance, but a great result. You guys loved it. The podcast, the last piece of content on the channel, you guys are loving it. Great feedback on it. And I'm like, I want to keep the content in to a consistent standard, right? And the, the news was the executive vice president of basketball operations at the Minnesota Timberwolves, Sachin Gupta, is set to leave the NBA franchise to take up a role at Chelsea. And I'm like, bloody hell, mate. Like, I don't know which one of the owners that are currently supposedly having a fight and having a Barney. I don't know which one it is who's employing this bloke, but fair enough. Don't know anything about him. What? How can I possibly make a video talking about this one with, like, any real clarity on the situation? It's not really news that warrants me posting something. Not an entire video talking about it. And then I'm thinking about the start that we've had to this season. I'm sat there in the sun today, you know having a lovely time. It was nice and chilled. Well, I say chilled, it was actually boiling hot, as you could probably tell from my face and the flustered look that I've got. But I'm like, trying to switch off a little bit, trying not to get too involved in thinking about, can I make a news video about this bloke from Minnesota? Probably not. I'm like, just relax. But of course, when you relax sometimes, you can either fully switch off and zone out, or something comes into your mind and you just want to sit there and roll with it. And I tell you what, Nonny Madweki's name just kept coming up in my head. I also saw this over the course of the last 24 hours. Nonny Madweki is now considered very important player for not only this season, but future seasons. The feeling between Madweki and Maresca is very good. And I'm thinking about this and I saw this, it's Pice's tweet, and I'm like, why is this like talking to me? And I know you want me to get to the flipping point here, but like, I've got to explain the narrative behind why he is the title and he is the thumbnail of this video. Noni Madweki, for me, epitomizes everything right now about Chelsea, both good and bad. And I'm going to tell you the whole story as to why and why this whole narrative about Noni Madweki. I also saw, by the way, just for added context, I saw Eunice posted a reel where he was talking about... Nonny, he wants him to stay, he's happy if he stays, and this tweet and all of this news about the good connection between the two of them, but yet he still thinks he might be sold. And I'm like, huh, how do I feel about this? Nonny Madweki, for me, epitomizes everything that has happened at this football club since the new ownership took over, good and bad. When Nonny first signed, I'm looking at this guy that we bought from a club in the Netherlands, PSV, I believe it was, and I'm like, well, he looks exciting, but like, is he Eden Hazard? And I think when you're a football fan, there's different layers to things, right? And a lot of us, because we're used to winning. We're used to winning trophies. We want to see our wingers be these mercurial beasts that can just do incredible things on the ball that you talk about for years, that you tell your kids, you tell your grandkids. Eden Hazard was that guy. And I think whenever we sign a new winger or a new footballer, I compare it to those that have been before. And I compare it to those that have made us just feel this sense of love and enjoyment for Chelsea Football Club. And I look at Nonny and I'm like, this guy is very raw. He comes across very raw in the media. You can see when he's got the ball at his feet, there's a swagger about the way that he moves. He moves and he looks to take a player on and he looks to get people off of their seats, which is why he took my attention. Then you had the incident with the penalty. You had the kerfuffle that was Nicholas Jackson, Noni Madweki. They wanted to take a penalty. Cole Palmer's the penalty taker. Cole Palmer's the best player at Chelsea. And then I was thinking about this and I'm like, well, what is it about previous Chelsea teams that has made me fall in love 
with certain Chelsea teams. Well, let's take it back to when we won the league. When we first won the league, you've got Petr Cech in goal, John Terry, Carvalho. You've got Frank Lampard, Didier Drogba. Those were the main guys in that Chelsea side. And then around them, you had the likes of your Michael Essien, your Ashley Coles, your Makaleles. And I'm not saying that these guys aren't as good as any of the first mentioned players, but you've got your spine, you've got your core, you've got your big players that will be there. And then scattered around that, you've got all of this quality that you just hope can maintain the levels, the standards that you expect for a Chelsea team that should be winning and are winning trophies. Now, with Noni Madweki, the penalty thing, it was, for me, so jarring last year. And you guys, like, you, you saw on the channel, I lost all my patience with Noni. I was like, how dare this guy take the ball off Palmer, cause such a stir. Chelsea are always in the media for all of the wrong reasons since these new owners came in. And now we've got moments of embarrassment on the pitch because our inexperienced players are arguing amongst themselves about who wants to and who should take a penalty. And I feel as though with Chelsea Football Club, right, it's been an issue since the new ownership came in that it's so easy for anyone in the media to look at the way that Chelsea do business, to look at the way that we're trying to change the game when it comes to transfers, and notice I'm not attaching any positive or negative feeling behind that. I'm just literally stating the facts. Chelsea are moving mad. We're doing things that haven't really been done before. And Nonny's position in this Chelsea team, if you'd have asked me a year ago, what do I think of Nonny Madweki? I'd have probably said to you, well, he's not Eden Hazard and he's very raw, could be great, but I don't know about his attitude. And since pre-season, since Maresca's come in, since we've started this season... Noni Madweki is a beacon, a beacon for the players that have played for Chelsea and been successful over the years when Drogba, Terry, Lampard, Cech are in the dressing room and they're looking up and being like, holy shit, we've got to live up to that standard to be successful at this football club. Right now, people are looking at Cole Palmer and last season it was a laughing joke amongst football people, Cole Palmer FC, Chelsea are nothing without Palmer, Chelsea are relegated without Cole Palmer. And at the start of this season, my thought was, I'm looking at the squad and I'm like, who is it going to be? Who are those players that aren't quite the Lampard, Terry, Czech, Drogba's? Who are going to be the players to step up, make a difference to actually send this brand new team with a brand new ownership, a brand new philosophy, so much chaos off the field, but bloody hell do I want the results to improve. And that means the players have to understand their responsibilities have to understand their roles, and most importantly, they've got to step up to the plate. Noni Madweki is that guy. Not only has he stepped up to the plate on the field, and yes, it's a hat-trick against Wolves. Yes, it's one game, but it's not just that. What Noni Madweki has done in a Chelsea shirt for the last few months, ever since, I think, probably that issue that we had between him, Jackson Palmer for the penalty, it is small, it is little, but it's not when you respond correctly. And if you look at the end of last season under Pochettino, Nonny was looking really good again. Pre-season, he looks on it. He looks sharp. You've seen the training videos where he's not just doing his training with the team. He's doing extra training. He's absolutely stepping up to the plate. And I think when it comes to looking at Chelsea and how we can and will be successful again, Nonny Madweki, for me, is the beacon of hope that when I look at what we've achieved in the past... Players like him that have all this quality, that are channeling everything that they have as raw talent the right way, is why I'm still so excited about Chelsea Football Club. And I think when you also look at these comments now, talking about being an important player for now and future seasons, of course, this is all coming out because Estevão Willian, right? This kid from Brazil is serious. He's coming next season and he plays in Noni Madweki's position. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, this really is where Chelsea are at right now. Are we actually just a club that is going to farm talents and let them play well for a year or so, sell them for a load of profit down the line? Or is the fact that Madweki has visibly grown into a character, a personality and a key player for Chelsea? Is this going to be a cornerstone? Is this going to be a benchmark where someone like Esteval comes in and just because he's supposed to be the next best thing, the best thing out of Brazil since Neymar, 
It does not mean for one second that the right thing to do would be to just be like, ah, Nani Madweki, we bought him for 35 million, let's sell him for 70. Let's sell him for 80. Because Nani has had a lot of people criticise him since he came to Chelsea. And again, I've been one of those people. I saw the raw talent and then I got really pissed off by those things that just got under my skin. And since then, he has been nothing but the, a brilliant professional and delivering on the field. So when we're looking forward at the future, Chelsea here, it might be a case of, well, yeah, Noni Madweki gets sold. But for me, it's absolutely essential that we have players that are coming in. Yes, they're going to be the next best talents. They're the young players. I understand that part of the strategy. It's a good idea down the line. But the one thing I don't want to see is the players that have actually got us back, potentially. I'm not saying that we're back in, in Champions League or anything like that. But it's performances from players like Madweki that will make a difference this season. And if Chelsea get back in the Champions League, I guarantee you come back to this video, Nonny will be one of the reasons why. And it interested me because I'm looking at last weekend, I'm looking forward and I'm like, well, I think Sancho should play. And then I'm like, well, Neto can also play on the right. Madweki didn't have the best game, so is Madweki out now? And I think this Chelsea team, if it's managed correctly, and this is Maresca's biggest job, if this Chelsea team, which is full of talent, is managed properly, look at the players right now. Everybody seems to be happy. Nkunku's been out injured for so long. He's obviously frustrated. He's not even getting minutes, starting minutes when he's fit. But look at the difference he makes when he comes on. And I genuinely think, right, Chelsea are slowly cooking something here that I think could be absolutely tremendous. And I think Madweki, for me, I wanted to make this video because for whatever reason, I just see him right now as a player that could make this Chelsea team special. I really think he's got that kind of ability. And also, I think he's grown into understanding his place within this squad. And I think all of the players right now, seemingly, are fully behind the new methodology of the manager, fully behind one another, and there's a great feeling about things. And as much as this is Chelsea, and we are going to see crazy stories off the field, we're seeing civil war that was the hot topic a week ago. I'm trying to kind of steer away from it because, look, as much as we don't want it to happen, as much as the players don't need that added just just annoyance from above, to be quite honest, and that uncertainty. I think right now the players are fully channeling that raw, young ability that they have. And we've had a good start to this season. And after West Ham away, we've got a nice run of four matches at Stamford Bridge. Imagine if we get a great result against West Ham and somehow start to find our feet at Stamford Bridge and win those four very winnable matches before Liverpool away. I genuinely think Chelsea could be going somewhere here. And Noni Madweki, I guess this video is to say, I really do hope he continues this great form. I hope he continues all this amazing hard work he's doing off the field. And yeah, if Esteval comes, we might sell him. And we'll deal with that when it comes or if it happens or if it comes. But in terms of building that consistent quality throughout the squad, it is a very exciting time, Chelsea fans. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is very much like an off-the-cuff video because it was literally just on my mind today when I thought I was just going to take a day off and then tomorrow we'll talk about the West Ham game. So, yeah, I'm excited. And I think Madweki, for me, has just got to keep going right now. There's so much competition in this side. And I think if all of the players really want to be here, which I think they do, then we're going to see levels going forward this season. We're going to see competition, healthy competition, and hopefully loads of goals and loads of wins. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on Madweki in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on what will happen, what you want to happen when Esteval comes in. The kid is so young, right? I, I don't think Chelsea would be smart to just sell other players just because this kid is the next Neymar. Like, Neymar spent half of his career flipping injured and trying to leave clubs. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not, I want him to be himself, Esteval, you know what I mean? But anyway, thoughts in the comments below. See you tomorrow.